Hi everyone, this is Six Storm Team Meteorologist Ken Weathers. Forecast update for you just after 1.30 on this Sunday, keeping an eye on this very strong storm system making its way through the Great Lakes and upper Midwest of the U.S. In fact, this line of thunderstorms where the cold front is has had a history of producing some tornadoes near Peoria, Illinois, and also it looks like a line stretching south through Illinois into southeastern Missouri could produce some thunderstorms as well as it makes its way towards western Kentucky. That said, the area of rainfall over us currently is not severe and most likely will not be. Moderate, maybe some at times heavy rainfall as this slides through the region, but we'd have no watches or warnings across our area. The only thing we have, the light blue area, wind advisories in place across the plateau into Kentucky, but area-wide we could see winds gusting 35, 45 miles per hour or higher, and that could bring down a few trees or power lines just from non-thunderstorm winds, so keep that in mind. Here's kind of what I expect the rest of the afternoon. By 2 o'clock, 6 timeline shows still some of the scattered showers across the area. Some of this could be heavy at times, as you see by 5 o'clock, possibly some rumbles of thunder in this as well. But I really think if we're going to see severe weather, it's a little later this evening into tonight, as the cold front that's moving through Illinois that I showed you weakens and slides into southeast Kentucky. So this line right through here by 8 o'clock, sliding towards the plateau into southeast Kentucky by 11, and then through the mountains just after midnight, that would be our main threat if we were going to see any severe thunderstorms across the area, then it looks much quieter by first thing on your Monday morning. So we will keep a close eye on that. Again, no active warnings or watches at this point. We'll keep you up to date on Facebook, Twitter, and as always at WATE.com. From the WATE 6 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ken Weathers.